USA. I mean, I love doing these uh, media days. And by the way, everyone's doing it. This dude gets my word for best beard. I mean, thank you, sir. There you go. <laughs> and you're looking pretty good today yourself. No, thank you very much. Good there to you meet you, man. Good to meet you. <laughs> Let's see. Let's whip around. They go out. We're still here at Conference USA Media Day, and already a lot of media work that's like dueling cameras. A woman's eyeing at me, I'm eyeing right back at her. But she has much larger equipment than I do, so I feel that disadvantage. Over there, if you want to put the camera, if I can get close in, I don't know if you can see him. Larry Coker, the coach of University of Texas at San Antonio. Now, University of Texas, San Antonio, they're like the new kids on the block. They're like a baby, you know. They, they start crawling, and before you know it, they start walking, and before they start running, and they're running with the pack. And this pack is running pretty good. <laughs> I'll tell you about the records and everything, and uh, Coach Larry Tucker, I'll get that to interview with him. There are a couple of the players right here, and he's being, they're being interviewed right there. There you go. We'll get, we'll get to you in just a couple of minutes, but uh, let me tell you a little bit about the UTSA. I'm going to cheat a little bit and read this. <laughs> Why not? 2013, seven and five. You guys finished up with a five-game winning streak, which is pretty good. And you, you barely missed the win, miss out on winning the Western Division of Conference USA. So let's talk to these guys here. They played a major role in their winning success. And let's get names and positions here. Uh, Tristan Lane, free safety. All right, and you? Scott Inski, uh, left guard. All right, good deal. Now, let's, then, let's talk about defense here. You play free safety. Safety, and you know, I've been asking people around the room with all these new offenses, spread, run and gun, throw, just nothing new. It seems like that's pretty much the norm in college football nowadays. As a free safety, how important it is to just stay on your receiver and try to either knock the ball away or just uh, try to go for the pick. You know, just try not to make them go five yards, and that's it. That's, that's a big thing, you know. And uh, free safety, you know, DB, our goal is not to let them catch the ball, not to let nobody get past it. So, I mean, we just got to protect our job. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And right over there, this, this guy looks like a mountain man over there. <laughs> I actually trimmed up a little bit. I was looking real rough earlier. I, hey, I think all offensive linemen wear beards. Oh, they, that's, they that's, me. that's me. That's me. I think all of them. That's mean guys. And you're, you're those like, hang on and just protect the quarterback. And, uh, well, and as far as uh, quarterbacking and, and that as well, I mean, you guys got to open up holes and everything. You guys, offensive line don't get enough credit. It seems like you guys just so. <laughs> uh, we get it from, we don't get it from like a fan sort of perspective. Or our teammates, you know, same thing with like O line and D line. I mean, we we get we get a lot of love from our teammates. You know, our running backs, our quarterbacks, our receivers. They all say thank you. They all, you know what I mean? Because uh -huh. we gotta we gotta start to play. We're like a link. I mean, if one of us messes up, the play is a bust. Yeah. Now, University of Texas and San Antonio, you guys like the new major college on the block. And like I was saying in the outset, it's like, you know, watching, I don't say it's like watching a baby, you see it grow. You, like, you start to walk and then you run. And then once you're running, you're running with the pack. And the pack is pretty good right now. Like I mentioned, you guys have a winning record and everything. Football at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. What's what's that spirit like? What's the atmosphere every time you step up step on that field? It's crazy. You can you can feel it in the fans. I mean they you know they've been drinking a little bit, you know, so I mean, you can feel it all. So it's that river walk. <laughs> uh, coming out of that tunnel, that smoke getting ready, and we uh -huh. just start we just start to, we just start our little chant, we start getting with it and uh, just running out of that tunnel, everyone's screaming, everyone getting ready. I mean, knowing it's time we're gonna kick the ball off. Uh, Probably after the first play, I kind of settle in a little bit, and then it's, it's on. Yeah, football, like I said, people are in San Antonio sports fans. It's, it's not about the Spurs, although they've done pretty well last time I heard. They won a championship. 
But the folks are starved for any kind of football in San Antonio. I mean, uh, they had the Saints for a while when the when the Super Bowl Super Bowl was being rebuilt. But uh, they were hoping to get them. But you got but they have you. And I tell you what, every time I see them, I saw you guys twice. The, uh, the community involvement is unbelievable in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. and if I was an opposing team coming into a San Antonio break, I'd be scared. We have some of the greatest fans. I mean, the support that we get from them is unreal. I mean, from like where we started with fan base to where we are now. I mean, I just greatly appreciate San Antonio. They welcomed us, us in. We're their football team. Uh, they're just, I mean, they're just so supportive. I mean, they're, they're great fans. They get rowdy at the games. That's what we like. Uh, they're just, they're always there. Yeah. I tell you what, San Antonio, it's the it's 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 sports. There's a sports town big, and uh, you, you, you're lucky to be playing in Texas. There's like a whole bunch of schools, all of them major, and me mm -hmm. being a sportsman fan myself, I get a chance to watch like, practically all of them just about. But now you guys are the new kids on the block, and you guys are letting people know that uh, we're here, and, and we're, we're, we're going to kill. We're going to beat you guys every Saturday. It's time to make some noise. You got it. We're okay. going to hit that ground running. Yeah, thank, thank you for being on the Donnie Sport Football Show. All right. Thank you. Thank you.